All right, how's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be uh, doing a mapping project of a few buildings out here in the Washington area, and I'm just going to be walking through how to do it. The uh, aircraft we're going to be using today is the Mavic 3 Multispectral, although you can use any of the Mavic 3 Enterprise series to, to do these kinds, of, uh, these kinds of missions. So today we're going to be doing an area route. The reason for that is we want to capture the entire area that we're in. So as you can see, we're going to be doing these four buildings here. But we'll start off with this one building right here. It's uh, building A for the build uh, for this complex. So to start with, we're going to start by adding points to the uh, four corners here of the building. The reason we do that is so we get this nice big area that we want mapped. Go ahead and click the check mark. We are using an M3E series with the M3M. Uh, camera on board, but we do want the RGB. We don't need the multispectral range today. We can go ahead and name our route today. I'm going to be naming it uh, what I want my folder to be named, which is Building A Angled. Because this is going to be an angled shot as opposed to a direct 90 degree straight down shot like uh, like most maps are. The uh, the root altitude today we're going to be doing 200 feet. So we'll go ahead and input that in there. But the safe takeoff altitude that's the point at which it will start moving to that to that uh, first start point. We're going to set that to 150 feet just to be safe here. The speed at which that we're going to be doing this mapping project is at 10 miles per hour. That course angle is fine for now, and we'll come into the uh, advanced settings to set some more uh, precise settings. Now, today we're going to be doing 85% side coverage and 85% frontal coverage, and we don't need any margin on either side. And we're going to have a custom camera angle. Again, because it's going to be less than negative 90 degrees, we're actually going to set it to negative 65. We'll also set our takeoff speed here. I would like to set it about at the same speed that our route is going to be taken at, just so that there's no, uh, it's not going to you know, speed off into one direction, you know, all willy nilly. 10 miles per hour is a very safe and uh, rather controllable speed to do that at. The only other setting you can change here is upon completion, I want it to exit the route mode and hover, which is what that will do there. Just double check your uh, settings here, and once everything looks good, you can go ahead and save your route there, up in the top right corner. And you can see that it loads everything about the, the details of the mission, the mapping area. <laughs> your GSD, that's how, uh, that's basically the same thing as the resolution of the final map that you'll get, how, uh, how far your distance is, uh, the estimated duration and how many photos it expects to take with the uh, the parameters that you've set. So we'll go ahead and turn on our well, we'll go ahead and turn on our Mavic 3 multispectral here, and we'll uh, we'll start our flight route. Should come online here in just a moment. All right, and once everything is all set, everything's looking good, we can go ahead and press Aircraft the... Aircraft altitude zone. All right, we can go ahead and start with our pre-flight checklist. Make sure everything is looking good, everything is... Uh, we want our return to home altitude, actually, to be above updated. where we Check are doing... Thank you. We actually want to set our return to home altitude above what our flight route is, and that's important so that there is obstacle clearance on all sides. Our max altitude today is going to be 400 feet. There's really no reason to go above that. And then on uh, the only other thing to double check is your lost signal action, which I haven't set to return to home. You can set it to land or hover. We're going to just keep it at return to home. Go ahead and go to next. 
make sure all of the uh, mapping checklist stuff looks good to your uh, to your liking. Everything looks good to me. And we'll go ahead and upload the flight mission and press start. Having to start point. So now the aircraft is going to automatically move to the start point, which was that uh, that S that you can see on the uh, the map over here. It's going to fly to that point. And it's going to start its mapping mission, which we'll be able to see here on the uh, on the main camera. Just reached 200 feet now, so it's going to fly to that first point that you can see on the screen, and it actually gives you an augmented reality view where you you can kind of see where that point is that it's aiming for. Uh, in the crosshair there, and along the route, each route, uh, each of the turns, I guess you could call it, um, will be labeled with a point on the uh, on the uh, what would you call that on the uh, on the display there, and uh, you'll be able to kind of have an idea of what it's doing and where it's going. So once it reaches this point here, it'll get spun back around and uh, point the camera down to the to the uh, angle that I uh, requested it be at negative 65 degrees, and it will begin okay, its mapping. Start Starting task. Now, of course, the reason we do it this way, where we uh, break up it, break it up into different flight sections, is because we have to keep line of sight of the aircraft at the at all times, which I currently do have. You can see that it nicely labels its home point with the H right there on the screen. Now, as you can see in the top left corner, it's executing the flight route. It'll give you a percentage of how much uh, it's done so far, so it's at about a third done now. If you click on that, you can see its estimated uh, time left, the progress, and all of that. You can also come over to the flight map and open that up while it's in the mission and see where the live location of that UAV is, along with the altitude, distance, what its latitude, longitude is, vertical speed, uh, your uh, your heading speed or, or your forward speed, and then your uh, uh, how many photos out of the, you know, the uh, expected amount that it's going to be taking.
mission complete. All right, now you can see that the flight mission has been completed. Now I've been returned manual control, so I am able to take control of the aircraft here and re manually return her back to the uh, to our home point if I wanted to, or I could begin the next mission. I am actually going to be returning back to our home point here and moving my vehicle over for the second mission. Hopefully this uh, answers any questions you may have about how to map with the Mavic 3 Enterprise series.